Hello, I'm Andrew Lissimon. Welcome back to Thrum the Depths, Allies Adrift. I'm here with Avak. Hello! And that turret looks ridiculous. Which turret? Your... You better not be talking about my glorious turret, which is honestly far, far too powerful for its own good. Yeah, like... Wasn't that going to be a little thing? Well, I mean, we had this discussion already. I try to make things small and, and sensible, <laughs> and then my creativity takes grasp, and it's like, no, 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 no. We need to build something enormous. It needs to be really expensive as well. The more expensive it is, the better it's going to work. That's how it. That's how it, life is. I'm fairly certain. Yes, definitely. And then I look down below at our tentative pole we have set up, and I worry. Well. I mean, we probably should improve that, actually. we That tiny... Yeah, we need to clad that entirely in metal, effectively. And shield projectors. <laughs> yes, and shield projectors. That also... Speaking of which, mm. I might just go expand our engine room. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Whee! Why does this look like more of a... an oblong than it does a circle? I Have I forgotten how to make circles? I believe I have. Oh, this is so embarrassing. That used to be a skill of mine. Take it off the CV. Oh, no. No, I'll fix. I cannot make circles. I, I can fix. I think we'll fix. I hunt small xenos. I also fix circles. Uh, I can't expand this engine without ruining my lovely, lovely little corridor. Well. What have I done? The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. We could have a second redundant engine. Uh, yeah, sure. No, wait. No, that would be terrible. We need we need the engine to be huge. This could be the backup engine. We could have a huge separate engine. This one is not powerful I enough. I love the way that you're trying to justify this. It's like, <laughs> please don't make me destroy it, Alec. I love it so. It's beautiful. Okay, you can keep it. We'll have Yay. a backup engine at some point. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm 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 in an ring. I'm I'm in an ring over something that has no real use to this design. Uh, this is this is pretty much how it always starts. What is it? Well, I'm just playing around with the base of my turret, literally the turret base. I can't decide on the design I want. Okay, well, that kind of looks nice. It menaces with spikes, and that's generally one of the uh, primary concerns that I have. I'm nothing if not dwarfy. See, I always build them with, like, slopes in mind to try and deflect shells, and it becomes kind of a little bit of an obsession to just make it as slopey as possible. See, that, that does sound like it makes sense. In fact, it does make sense, but... <laughs> You can't have slopes enough. and spikes. That just doesn't work. It, it, it's it's just wrong. One day your spikes are going to get caught on a, like a shell, and the shell's going to detonate and destroy everything you ever loved, and you're going to regret that obsession. Nah. No, not really. No. <laughs> I can tell you right now that's not going to happen. I'll just Havoc start never again. <laughs> no. I'm actually going to have to watch your episode just to see what color my turret ends up with. <laughs> Hot pink. <laughs> you would do that to me, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, you I would. Swine. Uh, Which reminds me, I'm building an engine down here, but there is actually something much more pressing that I need to build. Okay. Okay, I have fixed Okay. the world. The world? Wow. Didn't even know you were trying to fix the world, but uh, all right, well done. The we world go. is fixed, everyone. We can stop worrying about things. We can just go back to using greenhouse gases and all kinds much. of things. Pretty much. If you want things. to look up at the... Uh... Up at the what? The radar dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Well played. It needed uh, to be done. Let me grab my camera and get up there. Whoosh. That is wonderful. <laughs> Truly wonderful. <laughs> Deepwater Guard are going to know who defeated them. Oh, yes. And how are we doing for crystals? 541. Uh, okay, that's that's not bad. Oh, I should expand the crystal farm. Yeah, now that we can actually afford to. Uh, engine or crystal farm? Engine. I should do the crystal farm. 
I think the crystal farm is going to be more immediately useful to us. Yeah, I might just put a horizontal one in and just extend it into infinity. You should never extend anything into infinity. It breaks the world. You only just fixed it. World.exe has had an exception that needs to close. Indeed. It's very hard to do things like arithmetic on infin infinite numbers. Um... Let me know when I start running out of metal. Oh dear. Uh, no, we're going pretty good. It's going to be a while. Okay, because I'm just traveling uh, across the sea currently. Putting down crystal blocks. You make me want to sing. Under the sea. Darling is better. Down where is where to take it from me. Um, I have met an uh, undersea mountain. I'm going to have to stop putting down crystal blocks. Your plans have been foiled by nature itself. Yes, damn it, nature. Although if this is hit by a shell, it is incredibly vulnerable. If you're a fancy stroll under the sea, generally not. If I'm under the sea, I, I'm usually trying to swim. Not when I finish pumping it out. <laughs> you gonna pump out the sea? <laughs> the entire sea. <laughs> or if you enclose the entire sea in just one very large cube, and then you use an air pump. Right. Um. This has a maximum capacity of five thousand. All right, we are not going to need any metal for a while then, it seems. Okay, I'm mostly just faffing around trying to color this thing, but oh, I'm God. starting to get something now. Oh, what? God, I had a mirror line down. <laughs> oh, God. You filled the sea with nothing. Oh, it's okay. It just hit the mountain and stopped. That would have been really funny. The world has been deformed. Oh god. What? It actually did place it. It just placed it into the mountain. Well done. Under the mountain. We have now got an area of the of the world which is completely impervious to damage. Um but I then deleted the bit that was attached to our fortress cuz it it hadn't placed, oh. you know, properly. And now the entire like kilometer length of crystal tray is jammed under our fortress glitching out. Yes, this could be a problem. Thankfully I'm not down there to have to deal with it, so uh, I choose um, to laugh instead. <laughs> I just ignore it and hope it disappears. I'm sure it will after the respawn. Um, have you tried spikes? Well, yeah, that's the problem. I'm trying spikes, which is my go-to solution for making anything look good. And they're not working. This is the first time it's ever happened to me, I assure you. Actually, let's shrink that down. Ah, uh, I didn't shrink the cannon section. Why? I really wish you could connect to the bottom of a firing piece. I know. I mean, you basically... You turn it on its side. Yeah, you have to trick it into playing along. Yeah. Which is very, very frustrating. Right. More carburetors, more carburetors, more carburetors. Sounds like a nursery rhyme. This little carburetor went to market. Uh, what was it trying to buy? I mean, what does a carburetor want? Um, engine oil. Okay, that actually makes a little bit of sense. I'm still with you. Okay, continue with the song. Uh, this little fuel tank went to market. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on fuel tank-based uh, nursery rhymes. Maybe I should be. You disappoint me so. It's a, it's a personal flaw. I'm working on it. And then, oh god, there's so many fuel tanks to place. You did want, like, a million power, right? Um, I didn't specifically ask for that, but sure. Cool. Because I may have overspec things slightly. Cool, because you're getting it anyway, is what I heard just then. Pretty much. <laughs> well, we I look at our, our metal and go, we're not short of metal. I can build this larger. You're not wrong, technically. Okay, I think I've got something now that remotely resembles something good. Kind of. Okay, maybe. I'm gonna have a nice surprise when I pop up there and like see this amazing. Hopefully, I would.
wouldn't recommend banking on it, but hopefully, yes. I'm going to have to stop playing with it, though, because I've been playing with it for ages now, and <laughs> shut up. I just realized, okay, I can <laughs> I see where that was like going. That. I didn't mean it like <sighs> that. My lord. Right, that'll do, I think. Have you noticed our power requirements, by the way? Uh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Six. Wow, that's actually. Wow, okay. Yeah. I approve. Yeah. Oops. I'm not sorry. I didn't expect it of you, honestly. That's fair. That's an extra 30,000 power. Okay. I think that is acceptable. You know what? I just want to test this gun out at least once. Oh. Also have a shield projector on the gun. That is a fantastic sound. Oh, I need to, I need to come up there the and have a clinking look. of this as it moves around the gears and... I think oh, I can wonderful. hear it from down here. What? I think I just heard it. I can't oh. actually see how far away from the base I am, but I'm, I'm pretty far away. That was glorious. Oh, this thing sounds epic. Oh, dear. It's fire about a 45 degree angle. Still turning, apparently. Okay, fire! I th Is this bullet going to leave the atmosphere? Oh, it's close. It's really close. How high did it go? I, I can't see, because apparently in multiplayer you don't get that information anymore, like how far know. the distance or anything, but it was... It was getting to the point where I was seeing stars instead of clouds. Like our enemies will be. <laughs> I don't think they're going to see anything once this thing hits them. There'll be nothing left to see. Okay, well, uh, you know, that, that works. Definitely definitely a good good thing. Yes. We've got up to 1,000 uh, crystal now. That's glorious. Right, okay, time for the AI then. You want a local weapon controller. Finally, I'm actually doing something productive instead of, you know, just faffing around up there. So, uh, oh, uh, you know, dear. it was productive faffing. <laughs> well played. Most people fail to say that word. They say another word. <laughs> there we are. Oh, we are dear. definitely going to need a failsafe on this, like, crazy badly. Um, uh, yeah, I... I've started to uh, shy away from having both a target prioritization and aim point selection. Ooh, why? Because you just don't need it. And if you're trying to fit things in a small space, you just need the mainframe. And it'll generally do a fairly good job of picking something to attack. But with a cannon like this, I think it actually needs a prioritization. Yeah. And we're not really short on space or crystal. No. Right, as per usual, attack anything with a crew or player or AI uh, or weapons. Uh, if it's got an engine, increase its priority. Just a little bit. Um, I'm just building everything on metal, by the way, already. Okay. I'm going to tell this not to care about speed, because generally, I, you know, if it's a fast-moving thing, I don't really want it to be aiming for it too much. I could give it a negative, but I don't want to... Exclude too many things. Well, yeah, I'll give it a tiny negative. Minus one on speed. Range, I don't think it matters. Set value per altitude, I think I'm going to give it a slight... No, I'm going to give it a neutral on al altitude. So it doesn't really care. It's more how fast it's moving and how far away it is that it cares about. And actually, I'm not even going to limit its range. I'm just going to see how it does. Yeah, I think your thing is basically going to murder anything regardless of range. Well, that would be nice. I, I've got to be honest, I would be happy with this. Right, now then. Why is my thought command not line? filling? Ooh. Are you angled in the right way? It's filling like part of the blocks. There we go, good fill command. That is really weird. Multiply bug, I assume. Yeah. Oh, you're so tiresome. Phil! I'm sorry. Oh, not you, Avak. Right. This is a very large area. If it doesn't fill, I will be very disappointed. Yes. Right. Yes. Fill, my pretty. 
Phil! Hi, my pretty! I went to the whole, like, length of making sure the bottom of the floor for the engine room is, like, right. metal. Okay. And it's really reinforced. The roof's made of glass. <laughs> Which part is facing the enemy? Oh, dear. I am not the cleverest builder. But it looks cool. Yes. That's all that matters, really. Yep. At least I keep telling myself. I like how like massive fortresses like this with ridiculous uh, energy engine stockpiles and stuff and whatever have like literally like one fuel tank, two fuel tanks. I need to fill all of this up with explosives, or rather explosive ammo, not explosives. Don't want to fill it with explosive. That would be bad. <laughs> bad havoc. Yes, pretty bad, much. Bad, bad havoc. Don't fill your gun with explosives. It's just asking for trouble. Right, let me... Uh, what What do I need to do now? I've built an engine. What else do we need? What are you working on right now? I just finished the engine. We've got crazy crystal growth. Okay. We've got some god weapons. Um. Oh, vertical launch cruise missile. Ah, yes. Oh my god, the sound of this cannon is so good! <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Ah. It's facing in the wrong direction for me. What is? The cannon was facing, like, away from the island and you were shooting over the island. Ah. That is multiplayer. rather awkward. It was definitely facing the right direction I just fell in the drink. Damn it, you yeah, distracted I you in the me. Drink. And now the cannon's turning around. Okay. And now it's facing the island. All right, let's check on your missiles. I'm going to take control of them. Let me know when the fuel runs out. I haven't actually tested them yet. Well, I'm not going to be able to see the distance, but uh, I'm going to quickly have a look at the way you've built this up. This actually looks really good. Fairly long missile, thumper warheads, variable rate thruster. I haven't gone for the most powerful um, missiles I could, but they should have a bit more. It's only 1,000 on the thrusters. Was that Wait, intentional? what? Or at it least that's what it shows be. on mine. No, it's 8,000 on mine. Oh, well, it's probably going to be working okay on yours then. Multiplayer is derpy. A little bit. Yeah. I can't even see you up here. Oh, I'm, I'm just up here with a camera. I'm not actually up here. Up oh, here. right, okay. I just traveled up with my camera to say hi and to build a cruise missile. Okay, well, let's take control of this then. Fire at that mountain. Oh, that sounds so so satisfying. Boom, boom, boom. It didn't fire all the missiles. No, it didn't. Interesting. It only fired three that I saw. Yeah, why is that? Oh, there we go. They all fired that time. Mm, maybe the ramp could do with turning uh, down, because the ramp is currently on 1.5. I'll just adjust that. I can't adjust that. I'm in build mode. You can adjust that. <laughs> what do you want me to do with the ramp? The ramp's on 1.5. It should probably go down to, like, point... Five or something. Like at the moment, okay. looking at them taking off, they are accelerating just a little bit too slow. And it's meant to be eight thousand as well, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like. I don't know if that's actually right because it looks at like eight thousand to me. But when I looked at them take off, not sure they were going eight thousand. Well, I've set them all to eight thousand now, okay, and I've so increased the ramp. There they go. Uh, they move the same speed for me. But they certainly ramped a little bit faster. Yeah, they ramped a lot faster. They're drawing pretty patterns in the sky. Ah, oh, looks lovely. Wonderful. They're actually impact. lasting quite a while. Yes. They Maybe are. the like thrust should be turned up even more to get more damage. Okay, sure. I'll because increase that. They're doing crazy amounts of uh, thrust as it is. So all the way to ten thousand. Yeah. Very well. Do it. Okay. Uh, let's find a even more distant target. I don't think there are any more distant targets. Okay. Go. Whoosh! Clink. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love the one that just shot up straight in the air. Okay, well, I think our little nerd pole flag equipped radar oil rig thingamer, we're just going to call it a thingamer for now, is more or less heavily protected. I don't all think I we need, need to do. Cruise missiles, really. Probably not, but it'll be fun all the same. All I really need to do is to properly armor the uh, internals of this cannon so that nothing can get through. And put a shield projector on it. We have the power. Oh, actually, yeah. 
That is a good point. You did tell me to do that, and I do like to do it when I have the option to. So I'm going to quickly do that, and then we can probably look at wrapping up this episode, I would say. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a shield protect projector about the middle there, I think. I am looking at my turret, and unfortunately the middle is a four beam, and I don't want to break it, so I'm going to have an offset shield, and it's going to bug everyone's OCD. Well, I just got rid of the four beam and replace it with three blocks instead. Oh, go, go on, then. Go on. You have to do it, you know, come on. You can't be lazy. Always I'm, like I'm trying to save block count, man. No. Physics. No, physics would understand. Physics would understand. Physics wouldn't want you to, to, to betray your roots. Okay. And of course, reflect, full power. Is there any point in never having it not full power, really? I never put it at less than full power, no. I'll sometimes adjust the uh, distance that it is away from the cannon or, or what have you, but I'll never reduce the reflect power at all. I don't see there being a point in having it if you're going to do that. To yeah. That down to about 2.5, then we can angle. Uh, not the azimuth, sorry. Then Elevation angle. negative. Yeah. Or there we go. For me. Done mine. Probably a little bit wider as well. We can take this out too, but... Mm. Yeah, that'll do. I could add more shields, but it'll do. I think we should shield the uh, the flag. I love your, your, your... You've shielded just directly at the front. Mine has just got this huge shield hat on. Well, in theory, mine should be pointing towards the closest target. It's probably going to That's be a spread. good point, whereas mine is just rotating around. Yeah, so my one, my one's a little bit more easily damaged because it's got the one spinner. So I'm, I'm kind of like, well, if it's going to get damaged, it's going to get damaged. Yeah. Um, let me just make sure that the Union Jack is safe. Very important. Yeah. I mean, you know. The Queen would never forgive us. No. Secret police would be coming for us. My God, it takes a long time to travel up here. Yes, it does. I'm glad you think so as well. I thought I was just being lazy or impatient, but no, it actually does take a remarkably long time. Full power, of course. Um, <sighs> you know what I forgot? I can't see the shield. Mirror line. Oh, Good there shield. you are. Hello, shield. Oh, you're putting one on the Union Jack, are you? Yeah. Wonderful. Although, I can't... I don't think I can get the full width of the Union Jack. More shields. Um, I don't know. You can't not protect the Union Jack to the best of your ability. Again, the Queen would never forgive you. You don't want to it's, upset the Queen. It's, it's mostly protected. <sighs> mostly. We're Are you really the sort of any... person that would that would be satisfied with mostly? Yeah, but we've got one nerd pole holding the entire thing in place. I think there are more pressing concerns. Uh, uh, we have enough metal to make the entire nerd pole. We <laughs> do. I can't argue with this logic. As much as I would like to, I cannot. We have 90,000 in climbing. That is actually quite impressive, to be fair. Now, one thing I want to do before we end the episode, I mean, we are close to ending the episode, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly be a horrific, horrific human being. Oh, dear. Yes. That doesn't sound like something good. Um. What are you doing? Nothing. I can't tell, and it frightens me. <laughs> and because I can. Not that it'll really help in any way, but I'm going to stick some rams on this. <laughs> Just in case they get close enough to bash them with a turret. It's not even on the turret. This is not just on the armor for the turret. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I may have accidentally our resource collectors. You've added more. Really? I doubled it. Really? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a horrific human being, what can I say? <laughs> You've actually doubled them as well. You, you proper have. You're building more! I can see you doing it! Shh! Go away! There's I, nothing going on here! I'm on to you! Oh my lord. Also though, yes, I, I do like the idea of actually having rams on this, so... Rams! It will properly menace with spikes now, not just not just fake spikes, real spikes. You know what? I really want to put like a harpoon missile launcher to just like grab any enemy nearby and just drag them onto your spike. 
by all means. I'm not going to argue with this. I think that's a grand idea myself. Okay, I have quadrupled our resource collection. <laughs> Why do you make me feel bad? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm abusing the system. Uh, that my said, turret, you are still made out of wood. My turret has a crown. Oh, I want to see this crown. It's got dark. Maybe you should put light on your turret. Oh, that's a good point. I, I wouldn't want the enemy not to be able to see the impending doom. That would just not be very polite. It's like not introducing yourself to your to your enemy. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Um, yeah, okay. We'll go with that. Princess Bride reference? I know it's Princess Bride reference. Okay, just I, I was just worried for a second there. As you wish. Well played. Well played. Alright, let me put that there, because I messed up my spikes. And we can't be having messed up spikes. Don't mess up your spikes. We've got the outro to do, and you can't have messed up spikes with the outro. That is a very good point. They need to be beautiful. Indeed. Right, there we are. Some black spikes on the front and the sides, and maybe also the back. Uh, no, no, that would be going too far. But some golden spikes on the top for the crown. I think this turret is very pretty now. Yes, they're very golden. Yeah, I also need to uh, work on the actual barrel of the of the gun, but that can be done in the next episode. Okay. I've spent so just, this entire just... episode working on a cannon. Uh, right. A good cannon, though. Yeah, true. There well, we go. We'll, we'll have a salute. Does that help? What did you do? Put light on the top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. It makes the shield look pretty. It does. <laughs> Oh my lord. Listen to it. That is the sound of progress, my friend. The sound of progress is going to destroy you. Indeed. Progress is coming. Very anyway, painful um, progress. This has been From the Dads. Uh, if you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Go check out each other's perspective if you want to see how this ridiculous cannon came about. I suspect it's got something to do with this ridiculous thing underneath. Oh my god. I'm moving my camera down there to have a look right now. Oh. Oh wow. What did you do, Avok? Nothing! I didn't do anything wrong. I, it was good. Good stuff. I'm liking what you've done. Down oh my lord, this crystal farm! <laughs> you've seen that. I finally <laughs> seen this crystal farm! <laughs> oh I my god. I until I hit a mountain. That is, I think that is amazing. Like, it says 5,000, and my suspicion is that since it's such an exact number, I may have hit the limit. I suspect you may have, yes. Yeah. I su also suspect you're addicted to crystals. <gasps> Well, what can I say? They they get me going. I need crystals for my AI. That's true. All of them. All, All of the of AIs. Crystals. But yes, we're going to have to leave it there. I I am very, very sad to say. Yeah. Anyway, until next time, stay shiny. Take care.